the math program here at Havenview is kind of very intense for the eighth graders. Uh, when I say intense, we teach them to critically think and think analytically. The thing about math that gets me excited is the critical thinking. I like to get my brain thinking, thinking, and even if a problem is hard, I ask questions and I keep thinking and thinking, and I just like that feeling. Math is my favorite subject because it's just easy to me. I like to, I'm a mental math person, so I like to try to figure things out, and if I can't do it mentally, I have to show my work. So, you know, I just like a challenge. We often pair high achieving students with the lower achieving students, and that gives the higher achieving students the opportunity to practice and verbalize justifying their answers. As I plan a data lesson, number one, I look at data. Uh, number two, we look at the collaborative planning over the eighth grade. In order to plan a daily lesson, you must know your student. And knowing your students, that means you have to differentiate the instruction needed for each student, whether it be small group, whether it be individual lessons, whether it be uh, certain different things going on in your classroom at the, at, at the same time. We do have uh, several students who do come to us below grade level. What you want to do is try to get each student involved. I use a strategy called Plickers where students hold up a response card that had its multiple choice and they like getting their card scanned. I love Havenview because of the teachers and at another school they wouldn't, like the teachers, they, I don't feel like the teachers wouldn't explain the things that they explain like they do at Havenview. The teachers, they are very dedicated and they really love their job and care about the kids. So they have like tutoring, maybe on one of the days they don't have tutoring, they stay after school to help with the child. The way that I bridge the gap, the gap about mathematics, number one is repetition. Uh, repetition and practice. Number two is, like I said, make everyone feel safe in that environment. Number three is create real life scenarios where they can interact and know how will it help them in the future, but also how they can apply to today's time in the classroom. We are 901. We are 901. We are 901. We are 901.